Oh, God is feeling like your heart chakra is on fleek. Your, your, you got your emotions in check. If you don't feel like you're in this energy, this is the energy that's coming towards you. The angels, some of you could be feeling the energy of Archangel Metatron. You could be feeling these tingles up and down your spine or your crown chakra. Those are psychic messages to let you know that You made the right choice. It seems like you had to put yourself first in a situation. And this could have to do with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Could be any sign because it's general, but it just seems like you had to put yourself first. You made the right decision. Your angels want to connect with you. Your ancestors want to connect with you. Your creative energy was being drained is what I'm hearing. It was being drained. It was being exhausted. It's like you just couldn't seem to do anything. 419 could be significant. And... This was actually blocking you, this type of energy, this toxic, like, constant, like, breakup to makeup or... And the reason I'm saying that is because we have the death card right in between the king of cups and the queen of cups. Some of you could have been dealing with a Scorpio rising. Anyway, it's just this energy. It's like this constant death and rebirth, death and rebirth death and rebirth and it's like you've literally turned your 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 energy in the complete opposite direction doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine but this is a feminine energy no longer looking in the direction of toxic masculine energy or anyone who's toxic for that matter and it's like you're kind of like did i did i make the right decision was it all in my head? Was this person as... Yeah, they were. This was never... This was never going to work out the way that you wanted it to work out. And in fact, every time that you would try to do it, you would get some sort of, like, relief. Like, like mentally, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy, Scorpio energy. You would get some sort of emotional relief but it was it was the problem is like when someone says like oh i'm sorry and then like they do it again it's you have to apologize and then you have to change for some reason i, I i'm not even kidding you i know it's like 4 a.m but i i feel like this it could be it could be like whatever time you wake up it could be the highest vibrational frequency of your day this person will always make you feel like they're doing too much you're doing too much this could be arguing and then or just conflicts or really honestly <laughs> boredom just being so bored that you're making up excuses to get away from this person. Why? Yeah, look at that. Bottom of the deck. You see? This person is nowhere near a vibrational match to your energy. And this is really, this is so toxic. I don't even know. It can't get any more toxic than this. And I think that you are in this place where you're like, I forget this person, but I don't want to forget. You are so smart, is what they're saying. Let's get some more details about this sort of... It feels like more like a spiritual betrayal. It feels real, like, sinister. It might even cause someone to have to leave or relocate. 
because we have these two major arcanas and they're both pretty freaking malefic so i'm just saying right now is not a good time to be playing those games yeah it just kind of seems like someone's family tried to intervene but it's just like damn it's not my fault it's not it's not <laughs> It's not your fault. You like you like their family or their family likes likes you more than they like them. You get me? I'm sorry. What? Yeah. Someone's taking their power back. I really do feel like it's you. I feel that you are getting outside yeah really exploring <laughs> and trying new things the number 39 the, the number 32 could be significant the number 12 could be significant the number three really getting out there trying something new not feeling sorry for yourself and most definitely not tolerating anyone who tries to make you feel insecure. This is the kind of vibe of like, I don't know, I'm getting, I'm, I just keep hearing like gang stalking and it's just so ridiculous. It's, it's just jealousy. Someone's jealous because you've actually been receiving what you want from the universe and it's just taking them such a long time. So they watch your videos, your reels, your whatever it is you do you, you, that you may be quite possibly posting online. They're just looking at it and they're like, why is this happening so fast for them? Why is this such and such and such? Hang up the phone talking to those people because honestly, well, I don't think that you are actually speaking to this person for the majority of you. I feel like you're not really in communication. Could be a Capricorn. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, really strong Gemini. Could be any sign that you're dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It's like... I'm also getting that for some of you this could have been your f actual family doing this to you or causing these issues to occur in your life that could have possibly caused you to have like some sort of setbacks or misfortunes in your life but there definitely is a huge gift coming in from the universe this is giving me ace of pentacles energy the number 39, 17, and 15, it could be significant. So with the pentacles, this is some sort of increase in your finances. This is an opportunity, a business opportunity, or even finding, you know, your home, finding a new home with someone that you love because we do have the lovers here. So there is this sort of gift of spiritual love, right? A loving spiritual experience but it's also attached to some sort of material gain or some form of material wealth okay so let's just see what else wants to what other messages want to come through that you need to know about this time in your life this is a transitioning moment we do have the Scorpio death card here in the major arcana and right now, I've been telling everyone I know that we do have Scorpio Direct in Pisces. Why did I say Scorpio? Saturn. Maybe, maybe a Scorpio is thinking about you right now. Maybe some of you are dealing with a Scorpio. So we have Saturn Direct in Pisces. And this is the most transformative energy that you could ever even imagine. If you're not living in your truth, if you're not getting your shit together, 
So, yeah, there's someone official, or you're becoming this official person. Some of you could be seeing the number 22. Whenever I see the number 22, I know that this has something to do with a twin flame or a deep soulmate connection. So, either your twin flame or your soulmate is definitely thinking of you whenever you're seeing the number 22. Some of you could be seeing 222. Hmm. Let's see. There's an official person coming in. For some of you, this is um this is someone who you can count on. This is someone that you can depend on. This is someone who's gonna show up for you and show out for you, and they're actually going to introduce you to some sort of different lifestyle where you might experience having things or being in places that maybe you've not ever really experienced before because this is um this does have to do with wealth so maybe someone is going to gift you something maybe someone who's official is going to give you a gift that energy is definitely coming through and you're no longer going to be feeling in despair. You're no longer going to be feeling left out in the cold and disappointed. It's like one day you're going to be going from like having the worst day that you ever had to all of a sudden <laughs> someone that you really want to talk to or this could be your SP. You really want to talk to them. You really want to speak to them. You really want to be in their energy and you find out, you know what? They've been thinking about me too. All of those signs and synchronicities were just because like we were we were on the same wave the whole time. You're going to be finding out that someone you really consider to be like the one. If you have any courthouse rulings or anyone has like filing any lawsuits against you or you're having to deal with any legal issues, I'm hearing that you don't have to worry about it. Just continue to say that, you know, I know I live in a simulation, therefore I am creating the most epic life ever, okay? And you're creating the best reality, but you are sort of being in this these situations and i think that it has to do with something like when you were down and out when you weren't feeling yourself when you weren't aligned there's something involving court that you have to deal with because of that but don't worry about it it's gonna fall through you're gonna be just fine so don't worry about it don't worry about that and be grateful and if there's a case situation thank god this case got dropped Thank you to the universe, my ancestors, and spirit guides. You are amazing, okay? That's what you got to say. <sighs> Some of you could just be really feeling like you've been through so much. Like, they try to kill you. They try to take you out. This could definitely be spiritual. For some of you, you could have experienced some sort of loss in your life. And my heart goes out to you. If you have lost anyone in your life, you're going to come out of this grief. You're going to come out of this heartbreak. And no matter what, even say thank you for the sorrow. Thank you to the universe. Thank you, God, for this experience. It this loss for experiencing this loss i now know what this feels like i'm ready to see what's next that's the kind of prayers that you need to be saying when you're experiencing any sort of grief or any sort of ending or any sort of loss okay there is going to be light at the end of the tunnel so don't worry about it okay let's get one more for aries sun moon rising venus And I was going to say and Mercury, you know, I have I have my Aries in Mercury, my Aries in Mars. So if you're feeling that wave, OK, let me know where you have your Aries in your chart. OK, so unexpected income. Again, there is this gift and it is a financial increase. This could be in the form of an inheritance that is just for some of you. And it's just like just be grateful be grateful for this. Maintain a high vibrational frequency because this money is going to come out of nowhere. And I promise you, when you do, go ahead and check out my description. <laughs> 
send me some money. Don't play me out like that, okay? It's gonna be a lot of money. So someone's going to gift this to you or it's gonna be unexpected. So it's just gonna appear in your account if you're playing the lottery if you're doing any of these things the number 27 which is 9 the number 17 which is 8 so you definitely could be seeing synchronized numbers keep playing that lottery keep putting that energy and that vibrational frequency out there so that you can attract 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 what you truly want what you truly desire to have in this world and be proud of yourself because i feel like you brought yourself up out of the trenches i feel like you went through so much to get this to this point and the universe is just giving you a heads up hey you know <laughs> don't don't be toxic because you know you're just like one second away from ha having this miraculous um, financial increase in your life aries that's what god is saying namaste i'll see you in the next reading if you like this don't forget to press like share subscribe it really helps me when you do that peace and love